Hey gang, Roy Free Sr. back today, and last week, Wednesday I guess it was, I posted the video about the original Culver City Westside Barbell Club, and I mentioned towards the end of the video that I would be delving a little deeper into some of the other connections between that club and other groups. Uh, one good example would be the Wild Bunch of West Virginia. Now the main connection there was with Roger Estep because he came out and trained with the guys. So I'll just, I'll go back to a little excerpt from my book and we'll talk about that. Many innovative training concepts were born in Bill West Garage in Culver City, California, which of course was the original Westside Barbo Club, which has been more recently reincarnated by Louis Simmons and his Ohio version of the Westside Club. Some great lifters and bodybuilders back in that early era did not have the good fortune to live close enough to be a regular part of the original club with Peanuts and the rest of the guys. But they did come to visit for as long as they could to learn the secrets and training habits that were creating strength legends back then. One of the more renowned of these gentlemen was none other than powerlifter, bodybuilder extraordinaire, Roger Estep, and I think nobody would argue that uh, back in the 70s, Roger had one of, if not the best, physique in the powerlifting crowd. Unfortunately, Roger was taken young by cancer. Uh, Ricky Dale Crane, who was also one of the, the uh, Wild Bunch guys, awesome lifter himself, still training and still running meets and stuff, uh, had this to say after Roger's passing. He said he was a friend, an inspiration, and a champion, and is going to be with the Lord. He didn't talk much about himself, but rather focused more on all those around him, asking how everybody was doing. He would ask about my twin boys. And though he held a world record in squats and was also awarded the silver and bronze stars while serving in Vietnam, it was work to get Roger to talk about himself. He loved his family and friends, never complained about his cancer. He loved his life, fought a good fight, and he always kept his spirits high right up until the end. Roger hailed from West Virginia, and after he learned all he could from the original Culver City guys, he gladly took that knowledge back to West Virginia to the group that would later become known as the Wild Bunch and included guys like Luke Eams, Scott Tuzik, Chuck Dunbar, uh, Jack Wilson, Scott Warman, Ricky Dale, um, and uh, Paul Suthman. Uh, now here is a quote from, which is also taken from another chapter of the book, where Louis Simmons is talking about Roger and, and uh, their connection. He said, I often wondered if I was on the right track with my training. Roger Estep was doing a 1600 total in the early 1700s. Then out of nowhere, he made an 1800 total. I asked him how he jumped 200 pounds so fast. He said he went out to the west side in Culver City, and the rest was history. Chucky Dunbar, John Dunbar Jack Wilson, Luke Eames, Paul Suthpin, and some others were known as the Wild Bunch and were a very strong team. They proved to me that I was on the right track. My problem was I had no training partners. When I went to meets, I would ask lifters who excelled in each lift for tips on that lift. When it came to benching, Larry Pacifico was always telling me to train my triceps and lats. Uh, it just so happens that I have um, befriended Scott Tuzik. He's a regular on my Forgotten Strength Secrets Facebook page. And he had this to say about Roger. He said, Roger taught us well, and we had a very competitive club. The methods helped make Chuck Dunbar a world champ, world record holder, and multi-senior national champion. Others from our Luke's gym were Estep, Ricky Crane, Scott Warman, Luke Williams, Jack Wilson, and others who competed well with a high standard reaching elite or master rankings. So I'm going to throw in, you know, some lifting pictures of some of these other guys. Actually, I had uh, separate chapters in this book about the Culver City guys on Paul Suthpin and Ricky Dale. Um, and there's other connections. 
Uh, we'll get into some other stuff down the road, but I'm thinking I'm going to cut the video off here. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing to stay tuned. And I'm out. Bye.